I'm not a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush foundation. I find that it's a little too hard to spread, a little too thick, and it dries down a little too matte for my liking. So today I'm going to show you how I like to apply it. And this is part of my new series where I look at a foundation and I show you how to apply it step by step in real time. So this foundation's already been color corrected. See the previous video for that. And I'm actually mixing in some of the Danessa Myricks oil into this foundation. Now, the reason this works so well is because of this ingredient here, which is actually a solvent. And there's actually a high amount of this in the foundation. So what this ingredient does is it helps water and oils blend beautifully together. In this case, silicon oil but it also works really well with plant oils, which this oil mixture from Danessa Myricks has. It hasn't diluted the coverage too much, but it just makes it much more manageable and it makes the finish much softer. This combination can also look really beautiful applied and massaged into the skin with your fingers. One of the things I do like about the Flawless Foundation is it does have high levels of this nylon dwell. Making this great if you're wearing this foundation and getting photographed as it helps scatter light and blur fine lines. I'm finishing off with some powder and I'm powdering over these fake beauty spots I added to the skin. If you're wanting more help understanding and pairing products, I've just released my new course, which goes through a whole work 